Hey everybody, welcome back. Sorry, there's been a little. We've been bereft of Balatro a little bit. Uh, I've been. I mean, I've been busy. I've been doing dad stuff this weekend. Now it's Monday. We're recording more Balatro. Dare I? Gold stake Nebula deck. We did manage to bring it back to the orange stake. Nebula deck. Nebula deck. What does the Nebula deck mean to me? It means if we can find a consistent hand. Are you, are you, we drew the same thing like 20 times in a row, man. Four freaking animes? Like, what are we... Oh, my God. <laughs> There's got to be another ace, or at least just thank you, a natural pair somewhere in here. And don't take that out of context. Feels good to be back, people. Feels good to be back. We do need 80 points. That's not 80 points. That's 60 points. I'll, I'll do a quick restart on that one. So that basically couldn't have gone worse. Like I said, I've been out of practice for a little bit here. I'll tell you what, we'll do it the other way this time. Ace, two, three, four. Ace, two, three, four, five. As luck would have it, I do believe that is a straight. Now we need 80 points. How about 5522? Two, two? Mission accomplished. No! <laughs> I'm not cut out for this Balatro lifestyle, man. Okay, what's the game plan? First off, remember how to play, play Balatro. Secondly, get a semi useful Joker that we can rely on so we can skip and get $25 essentially for free. Now we do have a flush immediately. With one ace added, that might be an... It is way more than enough to get us over the hump. Okay. So we're going to have money in the bank. Shorty, what you think about that? Find me in my big Cadillac. Best voucher in the game. Love to see it. Uh, judgment in the Arcana pack. No, no, but more aces. It's rare that like an early death can carry value, but I, I appreciate it. I'll roll once. Honestly, I would I would skip on that one. Scholar and just like a little bit of luck can help us out enough. I mean, I, I'm not really like stoked to be playing, you know, sixes over tens or whatever, full housewives here, but it's okay. We could pretty easily draw a flush with aces or play like two aces and be in a good spot. We just need like, like Scholar is good. Good enough to, to rely on for at least the, the early to mid game, I think. But if we could just get one more, you don't do anything, okay. If we could just get one more Joker that actually does something. Temp temporary Lusty Joker could be okay. I'm not going to really invest in, in the Sun card. If it's only temporary, but... But it's alright, Ma. I'm only bleeding. Like, this seems like a, a pretty okay start. And we could all... Just give us some time. And then we can get, like, our, our game-winning Jokers later, maybe. I mean, it's only anti-2. This will be a perfect time for like an economics joker to show up, like a rocket or something like that. Golden joker, just something easy. <sighs> Burn joker, honestly, it's, it's a tough call, but I think you're just a little bit too expensive for me to get down with. Now, early flush with an ace. This is probably like, I was going to say 500 points because of the halving. Um, so I guess we really are, I, like, I hate to discard an ace, but I guess we really are looking for an ace of hearts. That way we can get, like, both jokers triggered and actually get enough score. I'm, I'm a little surprised we made it out of that so easily, but... Okay, now things are... It's not, like, crunch time yet, but it's getting close to crunch time. You, do, you hate to see all these symbols on the jokers <laughs> at this stage of our life. Okay, hear me out. If we're going long distance, I do like a, like a mail-in rebate, but not at the cost of three dollars per round. I think we want to like take. Oh, we can only take one. Why did I think it was a mega pack, dude? That's bad. Um, roll me. Uh, econ Joker that does nothing for us, or an Eternal Joker that doesn't fit what we're going for. I mean, I'm. <laughs> I'm all in, man. I'm paying one dollar for popcorn that's gonna cost me three bucks a round. It's not where I want to be. I think, so what my my plan was actually to commit to that. Um, well, it's not even enough to win in one hand, huh? I think we're we're in a world of hurt here. My my plan was to commit to the the half joker and then just try to play like a bunch of pairs, and then assume that maybe like we could get celestial packs that would carry us, but. Obviously, things sort of 
Things have sort of gotten away from us here. Do you think we can get to 6,400 points here? Kind of like having... Oh, we have no discards. I think we're... I think we might be the most cooked that anybody's ever been. I mean, what, what am I even playing right now? I didn't even get rid of the nine. <laughs> That's just... It's it's over, okay? Run it run it back with a with a smart head on your shoulders this time. Like for example, early, why are you messing with all these full houses, bro? Dump them and go clubs. Dump them and go flushes. Early flushes, they'll mean more to you. Look at this. So much more consistent. This is the game's way of telling us I'm sure that we're on the right track. Hollow Joker, as long as it carries like an effect. I, I do hate the fact that it's going to uh, debuff in five rounds, but 10 molt and a couple extra chips for five rounds, I can live with it. Honestly, I think if we're going to just choose something short term, 50 chips with a pair is like, it's something. Maybe not a, a ton, but it's, and especially when you consider that I'm probably just going to be playing flushes, it may never trigger at all, but... I always see like shoot the moon where where you get molts on your queens is more of like a kind of like a build around like you you don't want to take it in a perishable context unless you got no other options. I feel like we need something. We need to keep things moving here. I don't mind trying to make flushes easier to get. I mean with the nebula deck like you should be able to to flush max, right? Because you're, you're always going to get a Jupiter in every Celestial pack. All we need is like... I know I said it before, but if I could just get like an Econ Joker. Just an Econ Joker to sort of smooth this out a little bit. So I have the money to buy as many Celestial packs as I'd like. Because, I mean, both of these Jokers... Not only do they debuff, they debuff on the same round. So I think it would be nice to play with like a little sense of urgency. Pretty, pretty disappointed to see what Joker we got there. I hate to lose my money, but I think we need something, man. Times two molt of your hand contains a flush. Are you kidding me? It's a dream come true. Now, I think, honestly, I think I buy and sell it. Uh, I just, I, I'm not paying three bucks around for it. It's just not going to happen. Hearts, diamonds, these it could be hearts. Probably is hearts now that I think about it. Diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades. So like this, maybe? And a, a heart flush is plausible. And then the molt will be doubled. The molt is soaring. Anti-3. Stun man is like an almost always take. I think this situation is the almost. The chips are amazing. Like, we could just rework the whole run to only be about stun man. But I think we, we, we're... We're on something different and not altogether demonstrably worse. Like it might seem like, like why wouldn't you commit to Stuntman because it's so good and sh okay, listen, no diamonds in the deck apparently. You, you're not wrong. Like Stuntman, it's, it's good for a reason, but we already have like, uh, we've done the legwork to make sure that we get Flush, like Jupiters in all of our Celestial packs. Like, I feel like there, there's no need for us to go back on that just because just because we could. Now, please. I I don't know, man. I don't know. Wait, there, there was a full house in there. No. Okay, we made it. All right. No, never punished. We're about to lose all of our molt, though. Like, we immediately need something. And uh, obviously, like, hallucination was not it. $9 for $4 is kind of a bargain. And then, of course, like, flush being better. That's it's two extra molts. It doesn't make up for 10, though. This is uh, eight extra molts once. I'm actually, like, a, a, I'm a big believer in trading card being amazing. But I just even, like, I'm not going to sell Hiker for it. I think we need to live for one more round. And let's make sure that that round is against the boss and we'll have the amount of money required to make it out of this. Come on, buddy. Come on. You're, you're not going to get me on this diamond thing two times in a row. Okay. So we're about to have only one Joker that does anything. But if there's a bonus, and you could argue that there isn't, but if there is a bonus to that, 
I honestly think we go for hearts just because there's like two X of them in the deck versus everything else. You may think that I'm a, a, a dreamer on this one. You may think I've lost my mind. I guess we could probably just play like two pair instead. But if this doesn't work, we're, we're in a little tight. It's going to work. Okay. Um, I think it's okay just because A, we're going to have like 30 bucks. And B, um, we got a Molt Multer, which is like the rarest joker to get. Like a, a Molt Multer that fits our exact conditions right now. So we're going heart flushes. We're we're taking every celestial pack we can while the econ is good. I do I mean we I didn't even consider Lusty Joker. Obviously we have to take it. We can't take Ride the Bus. We love the voucher. I'm even willing to roll once just to see. It costing me like three dollars per round is just too much, I think. So rest assured, by the way. Like I would rather not be with two jokers on anti four but like if you have to be in two jokers at least on anti four at least they're like extremely synergistic with what we're trying to do i guess it's better to have that than like a bunch of jokers that don't do anything hopefully maybe a little cope but it's something hanging chad could be worth something and jupiter's always going to be good i'm 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 foregoing our economics right now but it's for the interest of, uh, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I mean, we're, we are one away from a club flush, but like, we need heart flushes. Am I not sorted? Thank you. There we go. And make sure you get played first. I, I think that, I think we got something going on here. Now, I, I do think we need a little bit more help, obviously, but... I'm, st I'm still feeling like pretty good about our, our run overall, at least right now. I'm not feeling so good about like uh, using Hermit on $3, which is again a byproduct of us spending all of our money every single round. But we are living by spending all of our money every single round so far, so I will be it for me to apologize for that, I think. Okay. Still scared. <laughs> You know what? Our, our skips have been pretty good so far. Maybe we can skip one level of this. This will give us $20, okay? This would give us one Jupiter, which I think is not enough. Like, we've been doing a good job with our skips so far. Forget about clubs. It has to be hearts. I mean, if we're talking about the best card-based game on Windows 95, it's got to be hearts. No disrespect to Free Cell. I never really understood the rules of Free Cell. Um, but I did enjoy, like, you could click that little king button in the middle and the cards would do something. I don't even fully remember what it was. We might be cooked, lads. We might be cooked. I'll just level with you straight up. I'm not playing a full house. I will try to draw four hearts instead. Set the stage. There are 12 non-hearts and 13 hearts in the deck. So, I mean, that's, that's outrageous. As far as I... What do you want me to say for that one? You want me to genuflect? You want me to apologize? We got probability, bro. There's 11 hearts remaining out of 20 cards. I mean, we could play 8-8. Eight, eight. <laughs> I guess we could play 4-4 four, four as well, but it's not like that was going to make up 20,000 points. I personally, I feel like we just got Balatrod right there. It happens, it happens, but it stings. Okay, go back to, go back to suit sorting. No flush. That's okay. No flush. Sometimes it takes a couple of... Vibes are rancid. I almost held R, but I, it, I'm wary of the fact that it puts us into the, the mega tilt, where we just tilt endlessly forever. I don't think two pair is going to do it for us. So let's try to get a diamond flush. Mission accomplished. Okay, you're lucky. You kept me alive. Otherwise... I can't be held responsible for the, the types of Steam review I would leave. Yeah, I'm not above it. I mean, this is a gimme. You start with Spectral Pack. Let's just put, like, Aura on an Ace, I suppose. Um, let's, let's try out the Buffoon Pack, see what we get. I doubt it will change our decisions, but you never know. 
I feel, and it's a little risky, obviously financially, I feel like you gotta take Green Joker, man. And like Green Joker plus either pair or high card, considering that we have the uh, the telescope, that should put us in a in a good spot. We want to pick a hand that's like easy to make. So I'm just like the mult's going up bit by bit. I think we're probably gonna need to play like a better hand at the end of this. I'm getting, I'm getting a little risky with it, but I, I feel like I can make it out with a pair and then a full house queens and jacks. And if this doesn't make it, I want to acknowledge this one's 100% my fault, but yeah, 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 okay. So we just want to, I want to keep pair as our most used hand so that telescope is easy to understand. Pairs are like just a little bit harder to make than high card, but they start with double the mult. So like, I, I think it's a, a worthy sacrifice. It's actually kind of nice to have the, the turtle bean here helping us get these easy pairs just as we get started. Now this, uh, obviously we're not scaling like too fast, but just work with me here. If we have to at the end, then I, I think we will. We can always play full house. <laughs> but I'm also like, ah, won't this just get us there? You're at seven. So this will be like 32 times 17. <sighs> Give me a second. 32 times 17. Okay, 30 times 17 is 500. Is that true? Seems right. 510 is enough. So we don't even need to do the... We don't even need to do the extra two. All right. Obviously, we're losing money every time. But, like, if we just get one Econ Joker, it's kind of sorted for us. By the way, did I ignore a free Celestial pack? That sounds like me. I would say pass again. There's no need for us to belabor the point here. We do need to get past like a certain level of the interest cap in order to have Green Joker not just erode all of our winnings every time, but... You can call me crazy if you want, and if you're crazy, well, Betty, when you call me, you better call me Al, as far as I'm concerned. But I, I feel like this is so winnable. We got early Green Joker. Yes, financially, we got some issues. But we, the, the, one of our financial it, consequences is sated. You know, we're going to get planets like crazy and the planets will always be the exact card we're looking for. So again, I, why not purchase uh, the Joker stencil? Me personally, I, I think there's, there's no need to win too fast. If anything, until we get to a certain level, we'd like Green Joker to pop. Now, I think I've gone wrong in the past trying to maximize green joker, anti-7, anti-8, etc., etc. There, It reaches a point where there's like um, diminishing returns, but we're not at that point. I mean, I don't think we're even close to that point yet. So I, I do think Max, and Space Joker seems like the perfect addition to the squad, man. I'll buy the voucher later, maybe. Because we're going to be playing a, a reasonable amount of pairs, right? Is it actually, like, we have Joker space, like, we're winning kind of, I don't want to say easily, it's kind of the wrong word, but we're winning comfortably right now. So it'd be a great time to get, like, uh, the Dice Joker, for example, so that we could make Space Joker actually do something instead of just sitting there uselessly. I mean, this might be, like, the most boring, grindy way to try to eke out a gold stake win, but... I mean, I don't think you can blame me for taking the shot that appeared. <laughs> it's either this or Stuntman, dude. Is it, and do it, I mean, it's mostly this now that I think about it. I've lost a lot of Stuntman runs in my day. Hey, hey, Space Joker, you ever consider helping out? You ever consider pick up a broom and a mop or something, man? We're, we're, we're all trying to help each other out, okay? This is an Econ Joker. It was just worth a try, in my opinion. I'm not going to worry about the voucher. I'm going to say forget about the voucher for now. How am I supposed to know what we got here? We got a pair. Blessed are the forgetful, for they get the better even of their blunders. We got a pair. <laughs> oh, baby. He's accidentally a Balatro stud. Look at this. And that, that's like... 11 hands and Space Joker hasn't paid out one time. We're three levels low on pair, brother, for where we should be. We go next. 
Like we are gonna need a molt molter at some point, so I should probably skip for a polychrome. We we run the risk if we skip of not getting like not having the scaling necessary to get through the next level. Like this is is spooky, man. Does this get us there? I don't really want to discard. Let me let me take a peek at something. The only thing that's going to be better than a pair is going to be four of a kind. Or I mean, I guess a straight flush, but that's kind of like a it's a bit of a pull. So you might be saying discard, but you got to discard like in service of something. I feel like we might just lose. That's such a like a devastating way to go, but like I, unless we were discarding to get to a straight flush, I don't think we were getting there. We needed a little bit of extra. I should have been spending more money. So like I said, that one was basically an automatic win. <laughs> you gotta cut me some slack, okay? Again, I had one of those weekends where like I had tabs open on my computer on Friday. Sat down at my desk on Monday, the same tabs were there. It wasn't like I, I've been, you know, going to Balatro boot camp or something like that. Might as well just play anything. I gotta get myself back into the swing of things for 21 minutes before we really know what we're doing. Okay, please, not all rentals. I'm, I'm doing it, man. Half Joker. Half Joker into pairs or three of a kinds. Probably pairs just because they're so much easier to make. This allows us to take advantage of the Celestial Packs. This allows us to, to theme our run around something, which is important. I'll spend six bucks on our Arcana Pack. I will Hermit immediately. Fantastic. $49. Now, don't burn it all on rerolls. Maybe we can get, like, one good card. A, a sick two. Like, that's that's got chips, molt, shocks, pegs, lucky. I think we can now buy the, the voucher. I'll go Spectral. Imagine if we could double this, dude. No such luck. Honestly, we want to make pairs. We don't need to make everything the same suit. It's not necessary. Let's create a blue seal ace. And then... That'll allow us to... I mean, we're not gonna... Oh, I played five cards. <laughs> that'll allow us to create even more Mercuries. Which will allow us to... Like, we're, we're going deep in one specific category here. And I, I think it's for the best, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Now, random planet, no thanks. I'd rather spend four bucks on guaranteed uh, good planet. Hello, Tomo. Hi, buddy. I'll roll once. I refuse. I, I, I see a blue and a gold tag. I refuse. Only one hand type this round. Not a problem for a beast like me. Thousand points right there. How about another thousand straight to the dome? Okay, anti three. Econ is good right now. I don't want to say sorted because if we spend the money, it ain't coming back. But econ's good right now. Uh, the voucher is incredible. Let's look at the buffoon pack first. <laughs> Hi, Tomo. He's he's going off. There's no doubt about that. Abstract Joker, I think, is just too much eternality committed to um, a relatively small amount of molts. This is probably going to get to, like, plus 15 at most. So I almost feel like you just go juggler temporarily. Because, like, this is going to cost us money. This it just doesn't fit our build. So I, I, I think it's the mature decision, though it, it pains me a little bit. 32 bucks. I could buy misprints. I do want to say that I don't think we have to, and I want to stay like close to the interest cap, I think, so we'll just ignore it for now. Sometimes I get myself into trouble with, uh, with misprint, because I start to rely on it, and you might say, NL, what's with the discard? So I'm hoping to get the blue seal card, man, if possible. I don't, I don't want to play this Empress, because we might need it for the boss, but if we got blue seal, I'd make an exception for sure. Mm -hmm. 26 bucks. I'm a sucker for a Mega Arcana. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'll definitely take Hermit. $41. $4. Random card. Lover's card. I mean, honestly, it's a little crazy. Just give me the 4 bucks. Like, it pales in comparison to what we just got out of Hermit, but... And truth be told, I mean, we might do okay with, like, a stone card. A pair with a stone is, like, 50 extra chips. Fool card gives us the tower. Pure detritus. 
So I, I think again, like, I mean, our deck is thick enough that you don't expect to get it. But if we could just draw the blue seal, like it, it changes everything. So let's let's throw this at him. Fifty chips makes a difference, man. It does. Every every Mercury, especially because pairs scale pretty slowly, every Mercury would really hit the spot. <laughs> we really want to take advantage of it when we can get it. I would go hanging Chad. Four bucks, especially considering we're about to play like the wall. That's gonna be a tough boss. Uh I will. I mean, straight up. Wheel of Fortune, sure, but I think for now, give me another tower card. The stones are helpful, man. And then maybe a standard pack with a good card in it. Another blue seal is something to write home about. I would pass. And then this is where things are, are touchy. Start with the discard. Go with the discard. We got a blue seal. Double Empress with a, with a ballad attached to it. I'm I'm feeling like it's gonna take us four hands to get where we need to go here. Ooh! <laughs> Please give me a, a a a pair for this two so I can get there. Like we're we're gonna be mighty close, and we don't have any discards, obviously. So come on, work with me. Uh, maybe I, honestly, I don't think we have anything to worry about. I was I was scared at first. I think we're just gonna make it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I mean, this is like, it's... It's a tragic video to post on a Tuesday, but... I mean, we were really giving it our all. We had a lot of, like, close losses in there. We'll be back with another one. Maybe I should give this guy a little water. He's, he's freaking out. He's got a full bowl, but... Uh, maybe it's old. <laughs> maybe it's not to his liking. I'll be back with another one tomorrow. Same deck? Oh, dude, we can make it. I, I can tell we're on the cusp. I'll see you next time.